Right, a little uh, reference on how to assemble the DeLorean's original fuel tank baffle. Um, I've already put this part together, which is the new pickup hose, pickup filter, clipped on, and the grommet that it goes through in the side of the original baffle. Right, I just want to do this as a reference of what you have to do inside the tank. Start with the baffle base. Quite, some of the early cars are missing these. Um, and they always seem slightly too small, but they do fit. But unfortunately, like that, it won't go through the hole in the top of the tank. So that's the, that's the bit you have to do when it's in the tank. So basically you have to start by putting the return line into the side of the baffle. They have this clip here originally, but if that's missing, you can just zip tie it to the central part. The important thing is simply that it drops back into the tank, into the baffle. Right, so this is what goes into the tank. Once it's inside the tank, you then have to hold in the arm out through the hole on the top. You have to slide the base through it and then through a bit of contortion you have to clip it together. It then goes on the stud on the bottom and we'll pretend that's the stud for now. Which is a, an M6 thread, a 10mm nut. And then you have to take your the first of the two clips, which again these are missing on the early cars as a subject to a recall. And the first thing you have to do is thread what I call the question mark hose, the pickup hose, through this, all inside the tank. And this is quite a, takes a bit of practice to get this right. There we go. And that's how that should go. It would originally have held down the, the pickup filter, but of course this is a replacement, it's not one of the original ones. The idea is that it goes in the centre like that, but that's a reference on how that goes. This is the second clip. Make sure you put it in the right way up. The little prongs you have to point down. This is much easier to install because you simply start off by putting it over the stud. You can then get your big washer and nut, and you can do up the the stud. Do that. Do up the baffle. One of the other things to point out, sorry, is that the, if you actually move the baffle from side to side inside the tank, you'll feel there are two nobbles in the tank, and you'll actually feel the point at which the baffle wants to stop and rest in the centre of the tank. Then do the nut up, not too tight so you don't snap the stud off, then simply reach in and lift up the two hooks and just hook them over the side. And that's the reference of how the fuel tank baffle should look inside the tank, if you could see it, which you can't. Okay, let's put it in the tank. Right, now this one goes in in one piece, and you have to squeeze the side of the baffle. Like that, in we go. Like two, a glove. Two hoses in. Right, now I'm going to have a crack at getting the base on. Are you able to see this all right? Yeah. So the base kind of folds sideways. There we go. I bet I made that look easy. Now I've got to weasel my, my hands in this, here. This is where the in-tank camera comes in use. Yeah. There's our in-tank view. What a novelty. Right, now I'm going to put the first clip in. And remember, you've got to try and remember how these this threads through the uh, pickup hose, the question mark hose. When this is full of petrol, it ain't much fun. <laughs> As we found out the other day. You can't wait. If you want to do it with gloves on, you have to do it with... Um, nitrile gloves because latex gloves just swell and about 10 seconds later they're falling apart you don't want to leave any bits of latex gloves inside the tank right there we go that's, the tank. that's with the first clip and now i've already dropped it over the stud so i'll now put the second one on yep, second clip well that will soon be sorted out by putting the uh, washer and nut on as you can see it's not clipped on the side of the baffle just yet but i'm just now going to put the washer and nut on So the nut's now done up with the washer and the two clips and I just now need to lift the, uh, the edges of the clips up over there and hopefully that is visible for the reference. And now we've got to hook up, hook up the fuel pump. Right, this is how you put the pump in um, and how to make sure everything 
lines up and you don't get any troubles with the uh, with the whining noisy pump because it's struggling to <laughs> suck fuel up right first things first get your return hard line in you'll notice that this one fairly good condition is actually an original one uh, anyway when you fit it you'll notice that it wants to point out at a certain angle and given the lid well you can add two and two together and work out where the supply line is going to end up going like that now, counterintuitively, they actually point towards the back of the car, and the, the hose actually has to do an S to get down to the supply uh, to the, the hard lines on the chassis. But trust me, this is actually how it's meant to go. Right now, the most important thing is not to twist the pickup hose when it goes on the bottom of the pump. And the way I do this is to take a good old look at this, realise that that return line must go between the pump and the tank sender, so it goes at approximately that angle. You also notice where the connector comes through for the electrics and you notice where the supply wires for the fuel pump go through when you connect everything together. So you get a kind of an idea of where geographically where things have to go. But having that pointing between the fuel tank centre and the pump is pretty key. So now what we can do is pick up the end of the return line, which is deliberately a bit long, makes life a bit simpler, and we can push it onto our return line. I actually have a click here, clip here, but it's not terribly important. I know these wire cutters are complete overkill for this clip, but uh, all that was handy at the time. Right, now with our pump held at roughly the right position, the important thing is to make sure that the pickup hose goes on and stays on straight. Now when you pull the pickup, the pickup hose has that deliberate question mark shape so that when you pull it out, it goes straight, which of course then means that it kind of wants to point in the wrong direction when you're attaching it to the bottom of your pump. So what I do, I always make a note of where the pickup hose is in the tank and it points that way. Our pump's gonna rest roughly so-so. So I want the pickup hose to come off like that, which means you have to force it into that position so that you can do it up. I need my hose clip. And there we go. Here we go, just want to check that. Right, so now we know that the pickup hose is exiting at the correct angle when we drop the pump back into the tank. That is now solid, and when we drop it back down, I can feel that that is going to straighten up nicely. So we get the return line in. Hey presto, and I'll push that back down again. And that's how you do that. And of course, our supply line. I'll just get the spare end I've got here. We'll end up like so, and our hoses are going to hook up around under the cavity there, and then in an S shape, back down onto our main hard lines.